everyone and welcome to our ballet class. Um, it will just be a nice easy adult ballet class suitable for beginners or improvers. Um, I've been sitting at my desk for I think four days solid now so I'm a bit stiff and creaky so if you hear any clunks and creaks and groans it's my joints. Um, so just a little bit about, um, in case some people are coming from other places, um, welcome. This is a Central Scotland Ballet School class, and my name's Amanda, and I'm going to lead you through kind of an idea of what I might do in one of our Hit the Bar classes. Um, just make sure, wherever you're doing this lesson, you have enough space around you to put out your arms and legs without crashing into anyone or anything. Um, also, that you're wearing um, clothes that you can move easily in, and um, just to keep yourself safe. Um, I think that's all. If anything feels uncomfortable or sore at any time, just stop um, or just take it down a, a little bit. I'll give some options at some parts if I can. Um, if you have any questions, I, I can't quite hear you in here just with the, the way I've got the camera set up, um, which is why we muted the microphones. Um, but um, enjoy. Right, so we're going to get do a little warm up first just to um, get us moving. Like I say, I'm a bit stiff. So we're going to start with a little warm up. So we've just got our feet in first position. So that's heels together and toes out. And we're just going to take a little sway side to side. We've got four sways. So we're going one and a two and a three and a four. So just keeping the knees soft. We're going to step to the side in two little lunges. One, two, and the other side. One, two. And we'll just repeat that. One and a two and a three and a four. One, two. One, two. Okay, let's do that with some music. It's nice and simple, and I can just make out all the bodies moving on the screen. Super. Ready? Sweet. One, two, three, four. Then a little lunge to the side. Sweet. One, two, three. Four, so to the side. Just close again. And again, sway one, just soft knees. So we're going to do the same thing again, but this time, as you sway, we're going to take a big circle with the arm. Two, three, four. And as we take that little lunge, we're going to stretch the arms around. So we're going to twist in your back and opening out the shoulders. Okay, let's do it with the music. Oh, wrong button, sorry. Ready? One, two, three. Four, now stretch to the side. Two, one. So a sway with a big arm circle. Two, really opening out the shoulders. And one, two. Wide circle. Well done. Oh. Right, next one's gonna hopefully get us a bit warmer. So we've got eight really quick bends with our knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then eight springs. Now you might not have much space, so you can do them on the spot, just picking your feet up at the back, or you can go around it in a little circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we start again, okay? Here goes. Ready? Eight quick bends. One, two, three, four. Then spring. Bend. Spring. Bend. So you can do them on the spot if you want to. Oh. 
Right. We're going to take that one again as well. But this time on the springs, we're going to take a big circle with the arms. Okay, so you will need a, a, enough space to put your arms out, even if you're just springing on the spot. Here we go. Ready? Eight bends. One, two, three, four, five. Spring. Three, four, five, six. Bend. So you can travel on the springs if you wish. Done. Hopefully you're feeling a bit warmer already. Um, so we're going to go on to some bar work and if you don't have a bar you can use a chair, anything that you can put your hands on just to um, help you balance. So we're going to start with a little foot stretch. I'll just bring the bar in just now. Okay, you see me if I'm here. We're going to take our feet in first position and we're going to push your right heel forward. Now, I'm not sure if this is a mirror image um, that you're seeing or not. So We'll see how it goes. So push the heel forwards. One, two, three, and down. And the other leg. One, two, three, and down. What we're trying to do is really stretch the front part of your foot. Okay, then we're going to stretch this right leg or left, whatever it's looking like to you, out to the side, the tip of your toe. One, and close. Two, and close. A quite slow tone just to really stretch the feet. Stretch, then we start again. Push one and two and three and down. Two and two and three and down to the side. Da yum, side da yum. It's a wee bit slower than that. Diddly yum, bum, bum. Right, let's try out some music. And the whole point of this, just to get the feet stretching so you don't end up with cramp later on. Ready to push the heel forward. One, two, three, and down. Left, one, two, three. Now we're going to stretch the leg to the side, stretch. Squeeze to the side, to the side. Start again pushing the foot. One, two, three, and down. Two, two, three, and stretch the leg out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in. Okay. So now we'll go on to, now we stretch our feet. We're going to go on to plies and get our knees warmed up. Okay, so this plies works your, um, your hips, your knees, and gives your calves a bit of a stretch as well. So I'm just going to try and see where's the best place to have this bar. Okay, so this time we're going to face sideways to the bar or the chair, whichever you're using. Okay, one hand on the bar, and we've got our feet in first position again. So when we bend our knees in any of these positions, your knees should be tracking over your middle toe. And we're trying to aim to keep the body as straight as possible. So what we're going to try and avoid doing is letting your body tip forwards or your bottom tip out the back. So we've got um, demi -plie, yeah. a demi-plié, which is a small bend, bend, and the hand just goes out with the knees. And stretch, then arise. I'm going to scoop the hand up to first position. And down. Bend. And stretch. Lift up. And down. Third time. And stretch. And up. And down. And a little breath. We're going to do a very small forward port of brass. I'll just face a little bit sideways. So you're going to tuck your chin in. Scoop with the hands all the way up. And open the arm. Then take the leg out to the side. That second position. We do the whole thing in seconds. So that's a demi plie in second and a rise three times. Then a little breathe, scoop, open, stretch that leg and it comes in front. So when it's just in front of the other foot, that's third position. Demi plie rise three times, little scoop. You can take that foot behind and do the whole thing again with the other leg in front. We've done our scoop. Come back into first position and we're just going to check that we're straight and we haven't ended up just having a wee lounge on the bar. Not that that would happen, of course. Right, here goes. So, please. So we're starting off with our demi plies. So we've got bend and rise. 
Demi right. plie and rise. Good, I can see everyone's arms going the same time. Well done. And rise. Then a little scoop. Stretch to second position. Demi plie and rise. Third time. So try and keep this body really straight. Then a breathe, scoop, open, bring that leg in front. This is the third one, bend and stretch. Little breathe, scoop. Close that leg behind in third. Good. Well then watch this first position doesn't come higher than your belly button. I can just see some arms up here, so just keep them down. Um, breathe. Back into first position. And bring both arms down and check your sides are as long as possible. Oh, right. We're not going to do that one again today. We're going to do all the leggy ones on both sides. So, all my side plies on both sides. So, we're going to go onto something called a glissé. And that a glissé is where you stretch your leg, like we did at the start, but it comes that little bit extra distance for um, just a bit longer. So, it comes off the floor. So, you'll hear the music, you'll recognize the tune. So, we start in third position. Now, if you're holding on with your right hand, your left leg should be in front. So that when you lift your leg off, you're, you're not going to topple over. So on the introduction, we take the arm out to second, and we're going to take two glissés devon. That's to the front. So we go front, close, front, close. Then we're going to second. We change um, closing places each time. We close alternate. One and two and three. Then we go derriere to the back. Back and back and one, a two, a three, da ya, da front, da na na front, da ya, da one, and two, and three, da ya, da back, back, one, and two, and three. Right, let's have a go. You're trying to get the tips of your toes to point, and you're trying to keep your um, sides still. Now, I can see myself in the mirror today, so I can see I'm having a little bit of a groove as my back muscles are closing. It's a case of do as I say and not as I do for this one. Here we go. Ready, take the arm out. So two to the front, front, side. One, a two, a three, derriere, back. Two, side, one, to the front. One, two, side, derriere to the back. It goes again. Yum, two, and a one, a two, a three. One, da, two, a one, a two, a three. Front, tips of your toes, sharp, sharp, sharp. One, two, three. Right. So normally we turn around and face the other way um, to do the other leg. So you can do that if you're confident facing the back. I'm not going to make you watch my bottom. So I'm just going to grab myself a spare bar. <laughs> okay, and I'll just use a chair on this side as you might be doing at home. Okay. So take an arm out. This time you should have the other leg to go to the front. So you can either face me or face away from me. Here we go. Give the other leg a stretch. Ready? Two to the front. Front. Second. One, two. Derriere. One. To the side. A two, a three. Front, da da da, front, banana. One, a two, a three. Back da da da, back da da da, starts again. From banana to banana, one, a two, a three. Ja da 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 da, ba, one, a two, a three. To the back. Side. Sorry, I forgot to warn you about that last one to the side. Oh, I'm out of breath. I don't think I normally talk as much as this. I don't think. I'm sure some of the ladies will put me right on that one. 
Right, so we're going to go on to something called a développé. So our legs are moving slower. And développé means to unfold. So we're going to start with our feet in third again. It's kind of a standard thing if you've not done class before. Um, and we've got a little breeze on the introduction. So a développé, we're going to unfold the leg by bringing it up first, then stretching it forwards, then bringing it to the floor and close. And we're trying to keep straight and not rely on our bar there. So we're going to pull the arm up at the same time as the knee. One, two. Then we're going to stretch out the leg and open the arm. One, two. Now for the ladies that have done this exercise before, we're going a little bit quicker here. We're going to come down in one and close in two. Then take a little stretch towards your bar. Three and four. Then we start the same again, but we're taking the leg to the side this time. Up, two, open, two, down, close it behind, then side and down. Then lift up the leg at the back. So we're taking it derriere. One, two, out, two, down, close and side. And we'll just take a fourth one. We're not going to take a break today. One, two, open two, down, close and side. Okay, it's um, not fast. So it really works your legs on the control there. Oh. So what does that mean? Okay. So uh, can I still go? Sorry. Right, so a little breathe. We're going to lift the foot up. One, two. Open. One, two. Bring the leg down. And then reach over to the side. Now we're taking the leg to the side. Two. Open. One, two. Close that leg behind and then take your port de bras to the side. Now we're going to pick up the leg behind, derriere. Up, two, open it out, one, two, take it down, close, big stretch over. Last time to the side, one, two, one, two, one, and close. Stretch to the side. Oh, and I forgot we've got enough time to take a little rise and balance. No hands. Good, no hands. Well done. Right, we're going to go again on the other side. Sorry, um, my camera battery ran out, so um, we've swapped cameras. Right, let's try on the other leg. So same thing, but this time, whichever leg you didn't use, you can either face away from me, use the other legs, you've still got balance, or just swap where your chair, side your chair is on. Ooh. Ready, so we've got up for two, then open the leg and the arm, one, two, down, and close, then reach towards your bar. Taking the leg to the side, up, two, open for two, close that leg behind, then reach towards your bar. Picking the leg up, derriere at the back, one, two, open, one, two, reach to your bar. Try not to lean on that bar, keep the sides long. Up to the side, open the leg to the side. Close in front, little side port de bras. Then that cheeky wee balance at the end. No hands. Well done. I should have just left you balancing. Right, so we're going to go on to something called a grand batmon. Now, as the name suggests, it's big, it's grand, grand. 
So we're going to take, let me just move this forward slightly, not that my legs are that long. And we're going to take the arm out to the side and we're going to kick the leg forward. So make sure you've got plenty of space. Don't aim to get it too high because you don't want to, to pull your hamstrings. Okay, it just goes wherever it will go itself. We're going to take our arm out to the side and we're going to kick that leg three times. One, two, three. Then you're going to lift your knee up and put the leg behind. So we're going to take a slightly different pattern. We're going to take it to the back next. One, two, three, then lift your knee. Now we're going to take it to the side. Keep the knee facing the ceiling. So what we don't want is for the hips to, to move here. Got one, two, three, lift your knee. Now, normally we just turn around little steps to face the back. So I'm going to cheat and just turn around to use the other hand. So you might need to do a little bit of room adjustment halfway through the exercise, but there's plenty of music. And then we'll take that on the other side. One, two, three, lift the knee. One, two, three, lift the knee. Da yum, da yum, lift the knee and turn the diddly 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 dum. Right, let's go without kicking anything. Again, you'll recognize the music, so the music helps with remembering the setting. Ready? Three to the front. One, two, three, knee diddly dum, back. Two, three, knee to the side. One, two, three, diddly dum, turn. So you're gonna swap hands. Kick three and one. Two, three, knee to the back. One, two, three, side. One, two, three, little turn. Diddly, diddly, diddly. Right. What we're going to do, we're going to go on to a little stretch now. Okay. So it depends on you. Um, we're going to start in the center and we're going to go over to the bar. And um, we will be putting our legs up, but I'll give you options to keep them on the floor. For stretches at any time, if anything feels painful, then stop. You should feel a gentle stretch, but you shouldn't feel pain. Okay, pain is bad. Okay, so we're going to start off with a, enough space to put your arms out to the side. So we're going to open the arms out to second position. We're going to reach up and across. We're going side and open. Side, open. Side. The arm that's coming up is trying to get really high before you go over. We're going to take a sway with a little gentle twist side to side. Let's keep the knees soft, okay? And bring your feet into first position. I'll face it a little angle for this one so you can see. Taking the arms out, we're going to do a very small forward port de bras. So you tuck your head in and then up, open. So we're going to go a bit further forward and look to your belly button and scoop the arms up. This time a little bit further forward, look to your hips. So we're getting a nice curve in your back. And this time you're going as far forwards as you can without headbutting a desk. So start off just our head and shoulders. Down and up. Open. Look to your belly button. So a little curve in your upper back. Look to your hips. Then reach to the floor. And give your shoulders a little 
Oshin. Right, so we're going to come over to whatever you're using as your bar. You need something that you can lean on. We're just going to stretch the top of our shoulders and the top of our legs. So we've got our hands on your bar. You're going to walk backwards, sticking your bottom out. And you're aiming big flat back. In this position, you're going to just do a little bend. You're trying not to let your bottom tuck down. You're trying to keep your bottom straight out and up. Down and up. So you're pushing your shoulders down and keeping your bottom stuck out. Just one more. And then hold that flat back position. You're going to suck your tummy button in and tuck your chin in, so we're really curving our back upwards. Then we're going to push your back down to arch your back and try and look towards your bar or chair or desk. And then pull up and push down. One more, curve up and push down. Now find that flat back position and just relax your knees, come back in. Okay, you're going to lift your knee up towards your chest. Try to pull it right in. And change. If you're wobbly, like me, hold on with one hand. This is just giving a, a very gentle stretch to those muscles underneath. Okay, bring the leg down. We're going to stretch the front of our legs and our hips now. Just be careful with this one. Um, you can either, it depends on you, You can either take hold of your foot, or if you can't quite reach your foot, just take hold of your, your trouser leg or, or um, leggings. Okay? What we're aiming to do is not get our foot to your bottom. It may or may not get there. We're aiming to get our knees in line with each other without the bottom sticking out, really nice and straight at the front. Okay, we're trying to get the knees back in line with each other. Relax your shoulders. I can feel the tension through the screen. And I can't hear if you're all breathing or not, so hopefully. And relax. Change legs. So again, it's up to you. And take either hold of your trouser leg, or you can take hold of your foot. Pull the knees in line with each other. Okay, bring that leg down. Right, next one we're going to take our legs out to the side in a plie. So I'll do it facing you. Oh. Right, so we've got our feet in second position. A nice deep bend. So again, don't let the bottom pop out the back. Nice and straight. Just taking a little rock side to side. You're trying to ease yourself lower and lower each time. So we're going to take a little bit of a longer lunge and then raise the toes on that foot. Then change. So we're going to raise the toes on your foot. So we're getting a bit of a stretch. You feel a stretch underneath your calf, possibly up into your knee and your hamstring, depending on you. Okay, a little stretch to the side. Good. and just come into second and walk your feet back in. Now we're just going to stretch our calves. So we're going to, I'll face sideways just so you can see. Okay. 
So you've got your legs parallel. You're pushing your heel down towards the floor. This leg is straight. Try not to have your bottom out. Hips pushed forwards. And you'll feel a stretch at the back of your calf. Front knee should be over your ankle and not lunging over your toes. You don't want to overstretch your knee. Change legs. Do one more for our legs. Yep. Okay, so one more for our legs, and you can choose for this one. You can either keep your legs on the floor, okay? So we're gonna take, I'll just face at an angle, one foot in front of the other, okay? Hands on your support leg and sticking your bottom out. Or we would normally take our leg onto the bar. So only do this if you've got something very stable to hold on to. We take the leg onto the bar, pushing down so we're nice and straight. If you have a chair, it depends on how stable it is. You don't want it to um, tip over. So what you could do is just take it this way, leg on the chair, and you can still get a good stretch by leaning forwards over your leg. So pick your first leg, your favorite leg, left or right, and either on the floor, up high, or medium, whichever one you'd like to do. So we're trying to keep the supporting leg nice and straight. And try not to tuck your head in, so you want to be able to breathe with the oxygen in and out. And let's swap legs. Whichever side you want to go on, go this way this time. Yeah, you can just stretch forward if you wish. You can just hold that stretch, you'll feel it. I'm feeling it after sitting down for four days. Remember, shouldn't be painful, you should just feel the stretch. I'm gonna trust you that all your hips are level and nobody's squint. And carefully bring your leg down if it's up somewhere. And relax, give yourself a shake off. Right, okay, so now we're gonna go into some center work. Um, we're not gonna do everything, because obviously things that travel aren't gonna be that safe to do in your confined space. So we're gonna start off with a little transfer of weight and a waltz step called a balancé. And a, a transfer of weight, we're in a lunge, and we're gonna change from one leg to the other leg. And you're trying to end up with one foot all your weight's on one leg and the other one's pointed. One and two. As we do that, we're taking arms side to side. And that's third position. Side to side. Side to side. Now, to take that, change that to a balancey, it's a bit like a Paris Basque that you would do in country dancing, except your foot goes behind. So we're going to go to the side and then do a little step. One, two. Side, behind. And side, two, three. Side, two, three. Three, and it's all really soft. The knees are really squishy into the floor. So we're gonna take four of each. So we go one and two, da, three and da, four. To the side, waltz, and da, two and da, three and da, four. We go again, one and two and three and four. I'm just gonna speed it up, side, 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 side. So we've done it twice through. Then I'm gonna change the arms and they're gonna come up the way. So that's fourth position. One and two, three, four, and the same arms on the balancing. So on that position, a little bit harder, you don't want this arm to drop over. So to keep it nice and long, nice curve on the Easter egg, it's the only thing left in the shops just now. Okay, let's go with some music. So we're going sidey ones first, then uppy ones. Here we go. Ready? We're going this way first, whether that's left or right. One, two, three, four. A balancey waltz side to side. Two, three, four. Same again. Two, 
and a three and a four. Balance it. One, a two and a three. Now we're going to take the arm above your head. So it's fourth position. And two, three, four. Side to side, balance. Two, lifting that nice long curve with the arm. Side to side. Two, three, four. Side to side. One, two, three. Last one. Well done. I could just see everyone going the same way at the same time. So that's a good thing. Well done. Right, so we're going to do a, a really gentle little jump. Okay, so we start with the legs parallel. We're going to do three bends. So we're going to keep the arms down. If you find it hard to keep your arms down, just take them onto your waist. Okay, or here, if you need to keep everything under control. Right, so we've got three bends. One, two, three, and then a little light jump, trying to point your toes and then land with soft knees. Do that four times. Two, da 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 and jump. Three, da 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 and jump. Four, da -da -yum, da -da -yum, and jump. And then we're just going to cheat the feet into first position and do the same in first. So in first position, as we did in our plies, the knees have to go out over your toes. Okay, parallel. Ready, and one, two, three. Two, three, jump. Ready, into first, one, Two, three, jump. Good, I can see heads bobbing up and down. Right, we're going to do almost the same again, but we're going to start with second position. So the feet are apart, still aiming for those knees over your toes. And then when we do the, the second time, we're going to take the feet in third. I don't mind which leg's in front. So one foot just in front of the other, just be careful not to stand on your own feet. So we start in second position. Oh, there we go, maybe. Ready, and one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna bring the feet into third. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right, bad news, we've got another jump to come. And um, just, we, just before we, we stopped classes, we were learning an ishapi sote. Thought I'd keep that going. And then I'll do a little video, either live or a pre-recorded one, to help everyone with their glissad, um, glissad paraburi. I think that was the new step. And ishapi paraburi, the two new combinations we've been doing. So we're going to start with our feet in third. We're going to jump the feet to second. So that's in a shape. Open. We're going to go stretch, bend, and then close the other leg in front. Together. So we go open, stay there, close. Open, stay there, close. So we're going to do that, I think, four times. Then we're going to add in some arms. The arms are going to go open, stay there. So they copy the legs. Three, close, open, two, three, close, open, two, three, close. Remember, if it's too hard to jump, take a step out and just keep the legs still working. Then we're gonna try it with the big arms. We're gonna take the arms all the way up and open to second. So just watch if you've not got a particularly high ceiling or you're tall. I don't ever have that problem. So we're gonna have one, two, Three, and one, two, three, and. So first of all, no arms to start with. And at any time, you can just miss the arms out and just keep them out of the way if you're thinking about the legs. So third position, no arms, first four sets. Oh, sorry, this one. It's quite slow. Open, stretch, bend, close. Open, stretch, bend, close. Open, stretch, bend. Now we're going to take the simple arm to the side. Two, three, close. One, two, three, close. Open, two, three, close. 
it's slower than I remembered, so it's really making your legs work. It will help when we add in the bigger arms. Here we go, big circle. One, two, three, close. One, two, three, close. One, two, three, close. Big circle. Now just pause, we get a little bit of a rest. Two more, ready, and two, three, close. Well done, just give your legs a little shake off. Right, going to do a little cool down. Oh, we just a little cool down and then it'll be time for us to wind up. So we're gonna start off with the feet in first position, deep breaths. We're taking the arms open. We're gonna reach over to a side port de bras first and open. Reaching up, come across, reaching up and up and over. We're just gonna take a little gentle sway, soft knees and two and three. Let's take a reach forwards as far as you can. You should be nice and warm. Be able to stretch those legs. One more. We're going to step this way. Take the arms all the way up for your reverence. Take the applause. The crowd is going wild today. They're throwing things, nice things. And then first position. And keep long sides. Put your shoulders down and make sure you can breathe. And give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. Good job, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. You can let, let me know after this um, how you thought it went. It's the first time I've tried the technology and I've had lots and lots of help. What I want you to do is um, hopefully we'll organize more of these um, from my house, though, so it won't have quite as much space. And um, we'll also have some pre-recorded videos to share with you. Maybe going over Gleese at Paddy Bure. Um, so if you head over to our YouTube channel um, and you can click on the subscribe link and there's a little bell that will come up when you click subscribe. Click on that and it'll give you notifications when I post new videos. Okay, and you can just join in at home. There are already quite a few performances, events and classes there for you to have a look at. Um, if you're on Facebook, find us on Facebook and I'll be keeping a schedule up to date on our website as well. So our URL is, the short one is easy to remember, it's CSBS, as written on my t-shirt, dot dance. So if you just type that into your browser and um, on the home page, I've got a news item that says online dance classes. So it's quite easy to find. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.